Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Total War Shogun 2 here today on the channel. We're going to be starting a brand new daily Let's Play series as the Takeda. So if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. We're going to go for a domination campaign. We're going to disable drop in battles. So we don't want any of those Shogun 2 online multiplayer chads coming on in here and messing up the campaign do we? we're gonna be playing as a Takeda they're a hard initial challenge uh, we do have improved morale for cavalry and superior cavalry as well so you will of course notice that this is a let's play not a live stream I've made the decision to go with a two-pronged approach I'm going to be doing let's plays and live streams on the channel at the same time. So we're going to have a, a campaign uh, running on the streams along with a Let's Play as well. So I think we make both crowds happy. I think that's what I want to do going forward. So hope you guys like the sound of that. All right, first things up, got to say a huge thank you to this month's YouTube channel members. So a huge thank you to Itchy, Green Nero One, Divine Overhand, Hectorp A, and Dimitri H. Really appreciate those channel members. You get your name read out at the start and end of every stream if you become one. And let's play. You also get access to the mod list that we're running here today. Mostly just visual stuff. Uh, we've also got. Um, a UI slash uh, font mod as well um, and a couple others here and there so I will be putting the full mod list in the discord um, accessible to channel members so anyway let's uh, get stuck into this campaign it's gonna be good love the Shimazu series now we're playing as probably my favorite aesthetically Pleasing faction. Who doesn't like red samurai? Fifteen or forty-five. This is Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war. For two hundred years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Takeda lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. To be Takeda is to be born in the saddle. We are master horsemen. Our cavalry astounds all. Let others march. We ride. We fly. Like storms in the mountains, we thunder in battle. Fisher Mountain, the war god, has woken. Now is the time to defeat. Our enemies! All will bow to the Takeda clan. We wait no longer! Destiny calls! We are the Takeda. Masters of Kai province for centuries. We have always faced aggression from neighboring clans. While we have come to terms with the Imagawa and the Hojo in recent years, the Shinano warlords have been unrelenting in their crusade to seize our lands and crush the clan. Our first priority should be to ensure that an end is put to the Shinano incursions. The Murakami of North Shinano have repeatedly invaded Kai, so bringing them to heel 
will afford us the chance to build up our military strength. From there, we can proceed into South Shinano, establishing a position at the heart of Honshu, and securing a source of quality stone to supplement our construction and trade efforts. Our relationship with the Imagawa has grown strong in the recent years, and I recommend keeping this as such. The aid would be most welcome should hostilities resume against the Hojo, and we expand into the Kanto area. As our clan grows in stature, the Shogun is bound to take action against us. Our proximity to Kyoto makes us a potential threat to the Shogunate, and we must be prepared to withstand his attempts at subjugation. If they do not relent, then we will be forced to take action ourselves for the greater good of Japan. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Alrighty, guys. Let's get stuck into it then. Without further ado, we're playing against the Takeda clan. It's going to be a good one. Alright, so first things first, let's have a look at our army build. We've got one unit of Takeda Light Cavalry, one unit of Yari Samurai, another Yari Ashigaru, a Bow Ashigaru, then we have a Takeda here. Uh, let's move Shingen out of Kai. And let's have a look at what we're working with. So, Mastery of the Arts, I think we go with the Way of Chi. Diplomacy-wise, we currently have an alliance with the Imogawa. Might try and keep that with them as long as possible. We do have a trade agreement with the Hojo. Uh, we could potentially look for a military alliance with them. We're currently at war with the Murakami. We have decent relations with the Kiso, but we might be better off to go to war with them. And we're sort of indifferent with uh, Ogigayatsu <laughs> to the uh, southwest. I think that's how you say that. So let's sort of craft a strategy and a, a rough plan for this series. So we're going to need to force land battles more than the Shimazu series, as in this series we're going to have to rely on our fantastic and superior cavalry. I can't wait to get to Kata Fire Cavalry. I would love to use them. I want to use a bunch of Yari Cavalry as well. So unlike in the Shimazu siege where we're going to be more capable to be more offensive in the sieges due to our fantastic Katana Samurai, we're going to have to force more land battles um, just because it's more intuitive for our faction to do so so let's have a look at where we want to expand and conquer as well because whoops it is why am i pivoting so far down where am i going Okina okinawa <laughs> why are we going so far south there right i want to um just have a look at our clan management at the moment so we need haida north shinano kyoto south shinano um, we need 60 provinces, and we need, obviously, survive realm divide. So there's a couple ways we can go in this series initially. So, looking at the Takeda, it would be a smart plan to go east fully, because we can conquer that area of the map quicker. You would think that. Have you back against the wall, you can't get attacked, you can basically sit in the corner here, but... I, I think people would recommend that, and it's an interesting strategy because obviously you, you've got your backs towards the corner of the map. However, the the eastern part here is nowhere near as wealthy as the west. The island of Kyushu here, along with these trade nodes, are the best provinces in the game. So I think we're better off going westward, trying to gobble up as many of these territories as we can, get in and around Kyoto so that we can push and attack it quickly. I think this is a lot richer than these provinces over here that are a little bit sparse and in between. They're quite large, quite hard to defend, and they just don't have the resources there. But we'll just have to see how we go. We could get an alliance with the Hojo. I don't overly trust them. We might need to take them out because they do actually have... Izu has a gold mine, so that's quite good. Um, depends what the Imagawa do because they currently have a vassal state in the Tokugawa, which could betray them. And also we've got Oda clan as well, we potentially need to deal with as well. Family tree wise, Shingen has a son. 
Yoshinobu and a daughter. And he's also got a decent amount of brothers as well. So our family tree is secure for now. So I think trying to consolidate centrally here in and around Kai is probably the play and see where we get sort of drawn. If there's an opportunity to hit the Hojo, I think we do it and maybe another faction. But I think we look to focus on taking North Shinano firstly. All right, let's have a look at this army now. Let's move on up. This battle can be a little bit difficult as they do start off with a Yari cavalry unit. They've got one Yari samurai, two Yari Ashigaru, and a bow Ashigaru as well. They currently outnumber us as well. So let's get stuck in and fight this one on the battlefield to get things stuck. Uh, get stuck in and get uh, well on the way. We've got the Battle of Khufu, 1545. So if we can. Be successful here today. Take minimal casualties. We should be able to push towards North Shinano. So I'm sort of thinking army build wise in this one. Uh, we obviously want cavalry spam. Six to eight cavalry units ideally. At a minimum uh, at some point. Yari and fire cav I'm thinking. Alright, let's uh, start the battle, I suppose. Let's have a look at some of these fantastic units. We are using a unit variety mod as well. Here is the uh, Takeda cavalry units. Look at the general units. These guys look superb as well. Alright, so let's see where the enemy are deploying. Slightly up on the hill here. Some of them are in a Yari wall. Okay, so let's uh, advance. Maybe to the bottom of this hill. Make sure you're not running, as fatigue and being tired, you really should mitigate in Shogun 2 if you can. You want to try and keep your units as fresh as possible. So I'm really back into the groove of Shogun 2. Just wrapped up my Shimazu series. It's uh, for the first time in seven years since I played Shogun 2 on that stream, so... I've learned a lot thanks to you guys, and I'm back into the swing of things as well. So we should have a really fun and enjoyable series here as the Takeda are on the move. Also as well, with these Let's Plays, we can zoom in and get some really nice cinematic shots. Yeah, I think going forward, I should have a multilateral approach. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We can do streams and series at the same time. Because, look, at the end of the day, there's 75k of you guys that have subbed and signed up for for Let's Plays. Um, although I love streaming and I thoroughly enjoy it, I am neglecting, neglecting um, part of the audience by doing pure streams because I do understand that, look, people enjoy engaging when the stream is live, but once the VOD gets uploaded, I don't know, people, some people feel like they've left out. They've been left out. So I get that. Also, I can narrow my focus a bit as well. I can focus on the gameplay more and get those nice cinematic shots. Okay, so we're trying to see if we can pincer them here. Uh, maybe if we swing around here, we might be able to kite a unit out and maybe go to this tree line here as well. All right, we don't want to go too far up the hill, but we do want to try and get into a better range. All right, let's get these... Yari Ashigaru to go into Yari Wall. And we'll make sure these guys go into guard mode as well. Okay, let's start peppering this bow Ashigaru unit. Hopefully we can get it to move up. And then we'll send in our cavalry. Okay, so they're now moving up as well. We're currently trading a little bit of power. We're uh, Firepower. We're moving... So they're moving their Yari Ashigaru up. Okay, we might be able to pincer this if we're lucky. Yeah, go for this then. Start hitting that. Soften it up. This unit is a little bit further away than what I would like. But we might be able to hit this from the side. Pull back now. Okay, so we might be able to hammer an anvil if we're lucky. Okay, go for this now. As they look to go down the hill, we've baited them in. Okay, they've been decimated. We didn't even need to move them in. Okay, swing you back over to this side of the forest. And we'll move my cavalry around. Okay, try and hit them. Uh, we actually might be better off to charge around here, to be fair. 
If you're quick enough, you might be able to go there. They're going to withstand a, a volley. Let's inspire. Be super careful there. You need to pull out. Pull up. Pull, pull left. While you hit them. You need to go this way. Alright, you just got to be super careful here. Now move out. Because we are risking general units here. Okay, so we managed to really disrupt the Boashigaru there. Pivot around, we'll try and kite them further in. Quickly now. I don't think I got that Inspire or the Rally off in the end anyway. Okay. Those bowmen there are exposed. Let's try and get another charge in here. Hit these guys. Move the archer skirmisher fire away from the their archers that are just about to get charged on in. Dude, their units are super reactive. Got to move back here again. Now hit them from the rear. Now keep going, cavalry. Come on, come on, come on. We just need to isolate them and try and take them out one at a time. Continue to get my archers to pepper them. At this point, we don't have flammable ammunition, which kind of sucks, but we're just going to have to try and make do. The Yari Cavalry is what I'm kind of scared of a little bit, if I'm being honest. Right, we might be able to get a charge in here. They are intertwining their Yari Ashigaru, though. That's annoying. Look, you know what? I'm going to be a bit aggressive here, and we'll try and surround them. Because we seem to be kiting them away here. Maybe try and move my Yari Ashigaru up here, and we'll try and swing them around. I think we can hit this. For some reason, these guys aren't moving or doing anything. I don't know why. Alright, go down the hill and hit them then. Continue to try and pull this spearman away. Get the general units to hit them. They're just chilling there for whatever reason. But we're about to get a really nice high energy charge. As we're charging from the top of a hill. We are using general units, so we have to be a little bit careful. Oh! Come on, move back. Nice, they've been crushed. Okay, let's uh, move these spearmen to the apex of this hill. Move the general units here. And let's try and recalibrate some of these archers. Try and... Uh, oh, I really want to try and hit those Yari cavalry if we can. Okay, you might just need to make a formal line here. Uh, they're flanking around me. You need to get out of Yari. We'll hit that. You engage them. Get back to the top of the hill, you guys. Um, archers, maybe try and flank. You got to keep an eye on this unit, but we should be okay. Oh, shit. They might have caught me here with those Yari Cavalry. You just need to get it up and around this hill. And then we can cause some damage. Actually, you know what? They're going to let this me form up for whatever reason, so let's fucking do that. All right, Cavalry. Rapidly hit you there. Get the generals up and around here. Ooh, we're going to be caught here. Go around the top of this and help. Alright, get, get the bowmen to hit them. Okay, I think their Yari Cavalry actually shattered then somehow. Get the Cavalry back. They're super close. Continue to push down against them. Swing around back onto the top of this. You kite this this way. A little bit unorthodox, this approach, but it seems to be working. There, Shaken, move you around. Maybe try and conserve the general's bodyguard if we can. Uh, you need to be out of Yari Wall to move about. We seem to be kiting this unit quite effectively. Well, they seem to be going for this. Nice. And it seems like their units are in a full retreat. Let's continue. Because we want to try and run down as many of them as we can. So yeah. That Yari Cavalry unit really did pack a punch. Just want the Bowman to hold there. Cool.
Awesome. Close victory, but we got the W. Man. It just shows you the, um... Ferociousness. Uh, ferocious... <laughs> what am I trying to say? Ferociousness. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> of the, uh... Takeda Cavalry. Alright, we lost 200. Oh, dude. Close victory, my ass. They've only got 56 remaining. And we crushed the army in one fell swoop. Nice. Alright. So let's upgrade the rice paddies in Kai. And I suppose... We get some light cav as well. Let's advance to North Shenano. I don't know what's going to be up here. But I suppose time will tell. Let's end the turn and continue. We'll see if any negotiations come our way. Okay. So... A little bit of a garrison there. Let's move these additional reinforcements up. Let's besiege out North Shinano. And look, we're in no rush. We can just siege them out. Let's get some more cavalry, I suppose. Another. Military alliance with the Hojo. I'll have to wait. Okay, so we have been attacked here now. Two units of Yari, Ashigaru, Bo. Yeah, no, nah, we got this. Let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield. Alright, let's see what we're working with. Uh, rather quite forestry. Foresty. Nothing too crazy. Um, I think we kind of go something like this. Yeah. Nice. I think we try and get to this clearing if we can. And... We kind of... Maybe conceal... Some of these units in the forest. We'll see how we go. Okay, looks like some of our bowmen are now in range. As the Yari wall moves on up. Getting a little bit close to me here. Let's try and move that back slightly. Alright, I think we move our general up. Maybe we charge the general there. And try and go for theirs. As they try to snipe us. They're going to hit us from the north there, which is rather annoying. Okay, we're going to have to go for their bowmen here. Jeez, come on. Swing around this way if you can. Try and go for the bowmen. Swing the generals around. Come on. Need to make sure these Yari Ashigaru get crushed. Get the generals to try and wrap around and then we hit them. Bro, they are holding big time. Perfect. Go for them now then. Move with you. Try and get the bowman to hit that. Get this cavalry around here. We need to target their general unit. Thankfully that's capitulated. You need to make sure you hit them. Get all of our cavalry to try and hit theirs. 
Make sure our bowmen are hitting them. Right, let's quickly try and move this Yari around. Try and stop that nice. Gone a little bit unorthodox this one, but we'll be fine. Nice, they've now been shattered. And we go for another additional cycle charge at the bowman. My lord, nice, there they go. Okay, let's give out some attack orders now. And make sure everyone's running down someone. Really making us work for North Shenano, eh? Let's keep that up. Same here as well. Okay. Let's end that one there. Close victory. Only 34 remaining. Hopefully we've killed enough just to march on in. Nice, we did. So let's peacefully occupy the settlement. We're not going to loot because we don't want to lose the daimyos. Oh no. We could maybe vassalize the Urukami, but I kind of want their territory. And let's move those additional reinforcements in. Perfect. North Shinano is secure, along with Kai. Okay, well, let's dive into some diplomacy, I suppose. Now that we've taken North Shinano, we've managed to encounter some other clans. So, we've got these guys here. Um, we could... Hmm, maybe we look to push against them. However, they are allied with Kiso. Um, so we've got the Jinbo, which are further north. The Usegi. We have to be a little bit careful with them, because from what I can remember... They essentially have a, a tr like a secret trait that they forever target the Takeda. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful when approaching them. Their, their territory is really interesting because it's quite large. Um, so they can get pinned from multiple sides. I just think we have to keep an eye on the Yusegi. Alright, and then we've got these guys down to the south as well. Okay, so can we get any further relations with the Imogawa? There is always a welcome for you, and a Maybe we try and get a payment out of them ideas. somehow, for military access or something. Uh, okay, because we can get a thousand out of them. Okay, nice. Do we ally up with the Hojo, or do we just try and leave them to their own devices? I don't know. Like, do we even bother trading with some of these other clans? Maybe. We might be able to come to a deal with some of them. So let's demand some payments in exchange. Oh, hang on. We might be able to get a huge amount of money here. Hang on. Can we get like 5k or something? That would be absurd. Okay. Speak and do not mumble. Honesty and clarity must Maybe we just go with the thou two thousand then. No? Okay. Maybe Please just the thousand. Speak honestly. Okay, maybe they're just simply not interested. Um do we trade with your Segi? Yeah, I suppose. I don't know how long that's gonna last though. Are we not trading with the Imogawa? Oh we're not. Let me listen to your offer and answer Surprising. Okay, we probably want to go to war with them. And I don't think we want to trade with anyone else either. Okay. Clan management-wise, still looking good. 
Family tree wise. Uh, you already got the Commission of Warfare. You've got another brother here as well. Uh, looking at the Daimyo, it does have the Bloodthirsty trait. We can give him another Retainer. Plus 15 increase to General's Influence Radius. Loyalty. We probably could use that, to be honest. The more honor we can get, the better. Uh, we want to go down to stand and fight as quickly as possible. So we'll chuck that all into the strategist movement range. Alright, so we've currently got irrigation being built. Uh, back up in North Shinano, we need to repair this. We also should build a sake den. And then upgrade the rice paddies as well. And then look for an additional front. I think going north here to hide is probably the play rather than South Shinano, but we'll just have to see how we go. Alright, let's continue on. See how the AI reacts. Nice, some of the construction has been built. Mastery wise, gone down with Chi. Do we want to go with this? Enables flammable arrows. I don't know what the macro or micro is for Bushido in way of Chi. So I think we'll just sort of go with a <laughs> Whatever fucking I'm feeling approach, I suppose. Alright, so we're making a little bit of money here now, which is fantastic. I suppose we upgrade the horse breeder. Oh, I wouldn't mind getting Takeda Fire Cavalry, though. Rather than the tradable resource. Okay, let's uh, move these guys north. The more we can, the better. Okay, the Sake Den has nearly been complete. We probably should get some more infantry, I suppose. Maybe bowmen over everyone. And we'll just try and keep an eye on everyone. Once these units are here, I think we'll try and mobilize to Hyda, but we'll see how we go. Alright, the Yosegi have taken some territory. We've recruited Bo Ashigaru for the first time. Oh, so they've moved over there, which is interesting, okay. Yeah, I think we go with Horse Breeder here. Alright, let's uh, move everyone out, I guess. Move to the border. See what we're sort of coming up against. Uh, we could get a ninja here. Maybe we need to exempt the region from tax, though. The ninja will give us some nice line of sight. The only problem is, we are going to bring in Kiso. We'll see how we go. They take a little while, they're going to take a little while to get from south to north, so... It, it might be okay. I think we're better off going this way than south. Alright, let's uh, move my ninja up north. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, unfortunately, they might have taken Ichu. By the look of it, they have. No, maybe not. Who's up here, then? Oh, no, Jinbo. Oh, they're still up there. Oh, okay, we might be able to surprise attack these fellas, then. So... If I negotiate with you, can I join... No, I can't request to join a war, because we don't have an alliance with them. I don't know if it overly works like that anyway. That's okay. Well, I think we just surprise attack them then. Do we call in the Imogawa? No, I think we're about to destroy them, so maybe we don't. Well, the Imogawa are to the south. They might actually come up and help. The only problem is we're making them decide. Sure, why not? They're going to join. And we're at war with Kiso, which will be the harder target. Alright, let's march on in. And occupy, I suppose. And that's them destroyed. <laughs> really? They must have had something to the north. I don't know. And now we have to focus on these guys. Do they want peace out of curiosity? No. I was like, oh, maybe that we've kicked off a war. They might not be interested. Um, should I upgrade the food or should I try and get some more military units? Maybe we need it. 
rather than food for now. All right. Let's see what unforeseen consequences we've just kicked off. There's a market here. I want to break that down. I think we'll go with the sake then over everything. Let's end the turn to continue on. We now border with the odor. Oh, I think the odor just crushed them, to be fair. Yeah, they did too. We've actually managed to encounter the Ikuiki. Ah, so the Oda clan. They're getting a little bit pincered by the Imogawa. Are they currently at war with them? They are. Hmm. It might be a strategy to potentially go to war with... Them, but I don't know. I reckon hmm, we could maybe push over here, perhaps. Oh, no, they've allied up with the um, Yosegi. Ah, oh, they're actually a vassal of them, which is interesting. All right. Oh, whoops. Already have a trade agreement with them. Uh, maybe we make a trade agreement with the Ikuiki. Yeah, but the problem is a lot of people f fucking hate them, so maybe not. Oh, it's this damn trade agreement we got with the Hojo, which is annoying. Alright, yeah, we're going for these archers, aren't we? Because we do want a small amount of archers. Uh, nothing too crazy. Because we want to try and get more cavalry if we can. Uh, that sake then's going to take a little bit. Alright, let's stabilize that for now. Maybe get some more Yari. Get some more cavalry as well. Nice. Let's uh, continue on, I suppose. I'll move my ninja down to South Shinano, but if we can take out the Oda clan early on... Mori fucking destroyed, hilarious. They never seem to last long. Interesting fact about the Mori, although they're considered to be the the best naval clan in the game, they don't even have the best ships, <laughs> according to some stats. Well, let's push, push to the border. Alright, so we got Oda. Um, that's not Nobunaga. <laughs> I'd be cool if it was. Alright, let's uh, move these guys north. We could delay that force. The only problem is, they might pull back. We might allow them to move on. We'll see how we go. Okay. Um, do we want to upgrade anything here? Let's get with their food there. Overall, I'm pretty happy. I still need to exempt the tax there. We're good here. Wait for these guys to come around. I think we'll let them move away for a turn. Just to have a look. Yeah. Hmm. Just trying to think if we should make an alliance with them or not. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Alright, they've really moved off now, which is fantastic. We might be able to secure South Shinano. Okay, so we're going to be able to get flammable arrows soon, which will be really vital for our army builds. Okay, so that army's still moving south. Okay. Hasn't been depleted either. Oh, the Shoni has adopted Christianity. That Sake Den is now being complete, so we should be able to... No, we still can't fucking do it. I was like, oh, maybe we can exempt the tax from it. No, we can't for whatever fucking reason. Um, yeah, so there's no way that can hit that. Two units. It's interesting, Some quite often, this war... Well, the, the Tokugawa are actually being destroyed. Quite often, the it's either the Imogawa, Tokugawa push against Oda either win. It's about a 50-50. I've seen some campaigns where they win the Oda. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they blitzkrieg most of central Japan. Sometimes they don't. This time around, it looks like the Imogawa are actually going to town on them, which is interesting. And we might be able to pressurize them. That's what I'm sort of thinking. We're not going to be... Oh, we might be able to with the cavalry, actually. Anyway, um, let's negotiate with the Imogawa. Mr. Imogawa. Yoshimoto. 
I would like to join your war against Oda Clan. But I want to do it for a payment. Like, give me like 5k. Okay, maybe not. How about 3k? 2k? Okay. Will they accept this? Okay, maybe not. Yeah. I feel like in Shogun 2, you can't really extort the AI overly that much. Okay, so they're going to give us a thousand, which is pretty good. Alright, let's try and use all our movement points to hit South Shinano. Now, if I'm not mistaken, with that 20% buff, I should... 20% uh, movement increase, or buff, you could say, we should be able to hit South Shinano now. Look at this, perfect. And we'll get rid of these small samurai retainers. Nice. We're going to be able to cut off half of their economy as well. Oh, thankfully they took out Kiso, because they can be quite annoying when they're built up in there. Uh, let's... Ooh... I was going to say maybe we break that down, but maybe we could use some Katana Samurai. No, I think we don't. But that's a cool option. Um, let's keep an eye on that. That's probably going to swing around and hit us though, to be fair. Let's swing these addi additional reinforcements around and maybe let's spend a little bit of this cash, eh? So we want to try and upgrade this. So why can't we get... So we need proving grounds. So we need to go down this. Hmm. Maybe we forego the flammable ammunition. So we can get better quality cavalry. Because is that what unlocks this next tier? We do need the building of Proving Grounds as well. No, that's just the next form to get the best... Well, we still need better quality units anyway. So we probably should go down that. But I think we need to maybe upgrade Kai, to be honest. So we can get some more slots. Because you don't want to make all your castles really built up. But you only want a couple of recruitment zones. We could make South Sh Sh Shinano one of them. As it does have a quarry there. And Kai. But there's no point of upgrading North. Or Hyder, to be honest. Speaking of Hyder, still need to tax them there. Uh, Diplomacy-wise, still need to keep an eye on that. Yeah, let's uh, continue on see how Oda Clan react. Looks like they might be coming, though. Mounting unrest here, okay. That's because you're not in here. Oh, maybe they're not moving north, okay. I'll quickly move my spy, uh, my ninja into the fog of waters to have a look. No, it looks like they're moving south. Interesting. They have a small garrison here in Mino. Um, we could pay for the assassination. No, here is Oda. Nobunaga. So he's the son and heir at this time period. Obviously the Takeda and Oda clan have a bit of a history. Historically. Maybe we just try and level up our ninja and sabotage the castle gates. Unfortunately we weren't successful. Alright. Let's exempt this region from tax. I still think we go with the sake den. And I kind of think I want to upgrade this to a stronghold. Alright, let's move these reinforcements up. Let's look to move everyone out. And we'll still exempt the region from tax. If they stay split like this, we still might have an opportunity to make a play. Okay, our recruitment is a little bit hampered here at the moment. Got a little bit of cash. Nice. So we can exempt that now. Everywhere else we're good. Alright. Yeah, I'm curious to see what they do. They might take Owari. Maybe, maybe not. Ooh, that doesn't look good. I think they won, though. No? Yeah, dude. The Imogawa, like I said, are going to town on them. Well, maybe we besiege Mino. Or Mino. Yeah, Oda Nobunaga is now the daimyo. Yeah, I guess they destroyed the full stack. 
Well, lucky I had a look in here. Dude, if we can get rid of the Oda clan this early on, this would be fantastic. I think we go with the 30% campaign range. We obviously want to try and go down to infantry leader where we can as well. I think you try I think you save the point technically. I don't know cuz he needs to level up a little bit more. Go with cavalry commander. There's some strat there which I don't know, but whatever. All right. I suppose we move this up for additional reinforcements. Who's this? Oh, it's blue. I thought it was the Hojo. I was like, damn. They're really aggressively pushed there. I think we go with the stonemason. Unless there's any other food we can get. No. Nice. So, let's see how they react. They're probably going to attack us, but... We'll see how we go. Dude, if we give it another turn, the Imogawa might come over and help us, but we'll see. Oh, shit. Did their... Matsuku actually try to hit me? Yeah, they did too. Seriously? Oh, okay. Why are we so indifferent? Ah. Uh, past grievances, really. Territorial expansionists. Mm. So, although we're about to... Get rid of... The Oda clan. We might actually have to go to war with the Imogawa. Hmm. Because we've kind of benefited from them fighting and taking some of this territory. Anyway. Let's have a look at Mino. So the Imogawa are going to come in as reinforcements. They've got most of the Yari Samurai as well. Well, they get starved out in two turns. Anyway, let's assault this one. And what we'll do is we'll be a little bit cheeky. We'll allow the Imogawa to do the fighting and the dying. And do most of the work to take this settlement for us. It's probably a smart idea for them to take most of it anyway, though. To take most of the initiative. As they have the infantry rather than me. Um, I think we attack from this way if we ever have to. But we should be fine enough to just sit and wait. Besides, we're a cavalry based faction, so... We kinda want... We would want to actually starve them out. For three turns, but they would probably attack before then. But here is the might of the Takeda. We have the Order inside. Nice. And Nobunaga as well. There he is. The man. The myth. The legend. And where are the Imogawa coming in as reinforcements here they are? Yeah, well, let's just fucking allow them to go up, eh? They seem like they're going as well. To be fair, we could maybe give some skirmisher support. Like, let's move up here. If we had flammable shots, that would be ideal. But I have a feeling there's a point where we might have range on them. But they might not have range on us. Not here, though. No. No. Okay, they're slightly we even in range on them at all. Maybe we need to go around. Look, you know what? We actually need to be... Oh, fucking hell, bro. We're only in range for the smallest of margins and they're fucking hitting me there. We need to go to an area where they're not with their bowmen, so... Somewhere like here. Bro! Alright, looks like the Imogawa are actually ascending the fort. Oh, 
Well, we're still trying to get to our position, something like this. There go our allies. Doing all the fighting and the dying. <laughs> Essentially letting them be cannon fodder. We're not even going to get in range anyway. My lord, their general has fallen. They seem to be advancing though. Yeah, I guess we just sort of try and see how they do. I reckon they're going to be able to soften them up enough that if we ever have to go in there, we'll be fine. Alright, now some of our Takeda archers are getting their shots off. Hitting some of their samurai in the rear. They've got their general unit family engaged now as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to win out for the Imogawa there. Look at that, bro. They really didn't do a dent to them. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Alright, some of our archers are still in range. They're trying to move some of their Oda Bowmen. But now we're hitting them with fresh volleys. Oh, we're not actually... Oh, we are. We're just overshooting it. Alright, before we go on in, we'll try and take out as many of them as we can. Yeah, so they don't seem to be covering this side. So this is what we want to be doing. We want to be allowing my skirmishes to be hitting them with impunity. This is what we want to be doing. Nice. Another flurry and venomous about amount of volleys. Look at that, bro. Just littering them with arrows. My lord, our ally has fled. All right, now they're starting to move some of their bowmen up, so that's something we'd keep an eye on. All right, looks like <laughs> the last of the Imogawa units that were archers have drawn their swords and have made their way into the castle. Absolute bloodbath. I can kind of see why they don't like us. The Imogawa, that being. But nice, we got the RNG of this campaign. I'm kind of happy if we can defeat Oda Clan as early as possible because they are, I think, but arguably the best clan in Shogun 2. Because of their Yari Ashigaru buff. Yari Ashigaru already fucking insane. Let alone with the, um, the buff. What seems to be holding? It's just this unit here. Alright. The countdown's already been initiated. Only 10 seconds. Nice. Let's end the battle there. Decisive victory. It's because we lost so little casualties. <laughs> Look, to be fair, some of our archers did get caught, but we're fine. Dude, they essentially lost that thousand. Fuck me, bro. We lost absolutely nothing. Bro. Not good for them. But Mino is now ours. And look at this, boys. 
the great clan of the Oda has been destroyed. Here is Nobunaga about to commit Zipoku. Cool. And there's already a Sake Den in there. Nice. Well, let's get another ninja, eh? Yeah. I guess we could send them a payment of like 500 just to keep the relations amicable, but yeah. I'm trying to think, do we make an alliance with the Hojo? Because we have expanded quite a bit here and we are a little bit open. I was curious to see where we would sort of go for this campaign. Like, sometimes you get drawn for the, further north here. I have to go to war with the Ikuiki. Um, sometimes... You need to go, you can get drawn uh, eastward. Maybe we try and make an alliance with the Hojo. Uh, so they're not accepting Sometimes it now, which is interesting. So maybe that's a consequence of not doing it earlier. See what our have in store for us? Do we pivot back around and try and take that? Because then we can hit the Imogawa from a multiple pronged attack. However, if we do break that alliance with them, they're not going to be happy. We could go after someone like the Ikowiki, um, potentially, but I believe they're... Yeah, they've got a different religion to us, so... I don't know, they are at war with a lot of people, though. And a lot of people don't like them, so maybe we should go against them. I don't know, maybe we need a an additional army, because we can pincer it that way. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about where we go next. Look, you know what? I think it might be advantageous for us to do, to dive back into diplomacy. And let's see what we're working with. So we've still got this alliance with the Imogawa. We've got a bunch of trade partners. So I think we want to try and make plans and preparations to go to war with the Ikuiki. Yeah, the Imogawa don't like me. Why? Hostile agent actions. They hit me. That's what kind of did it, though. Past grievances, territorial expansion. Because we kind of want to go maybe after Jinbo, maybe even against the Kita, the Osegi, and the Hojo nearby. Look, you know what? Maybe we try and get an alliance with the Hojo. In hindsight, maybe we should have accepted that a while ago. Like, what can we offer them? So let's say, like, I don't know, 10. Oh, hang on. That might We might be able to offer them this. Hang on. I offered them 20 turns for a military alliance. I'd be curious to see what they say. Okay, so we might be able to come to an arrangement. Hang on. Because look, 20 turns, they can move in and around my lands. I don't overly care too much. It will be annoying, but it won't be too overly insane. So let's give them a thousand, let's say. And I'll give you 20 turns of military access for a military alliance. Just to deter them from ever attacking me. And we ne we might be... The thing is, we might end up going to war with the Imogawa if they betray us. Anyway, let's offer this. Hey, we've got an alliance with the Hojo. Nice. That's fantastic. Maybe we should do the same with the Usegi. Because they will declare war upon us eventually. Hmm. Like, what if we offer them... Oh, we might better offer them the same, actually. I'd rather not give them a hostage. But maybe we offer them a thousand again. Offer the same terms that the Hojo had. Nice. Okay, so... Can't get anything else with them. We can't actually get any alli marriage alliances or anything, matter of fact. Uh, only with the clans I'm probably going to go to war with. Which is unfortunate. Nice. So that should secure my southern border and my northern for now. Okay, nice. So, hmm. Do we make plans and preparations to go to war with the Ikoiki? I suppose so. As if they hit my ninja. That's so annoying. And we'll send you north. Okay, so... I suppose I move you to Hyder, I guess. And we'll try and get an army there going. Uh, we'll send these additional reinforcements in. 
Try and get some Bowman, I suppose. Although we've got a Sake Den here. Look, you know what? I might be better off to break that down. We've got a small Yari Ashigaru unit. I suppose I'll move you in there with you. And we maybe go to war with Jinbo. Let's make a secondary stack up here. That's what I'm sort of thinking. That I'm fucking vibing with, I think. And we'll try and get... Like, what's better? I do want to try and get Takeda to Fire Cavalry if we can, but we need Proving Grounds. Hmm. But out of Katana and Yari Cav? Like, what's better? What do you guys prefer? I think overall Katana Cavalry have... better ability in, like, in interlocked. Like, in, if they're going to be in combat. But I think, dude, this Yari cap, like the fucking charge bonus, cycle charging would be insane with them. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Yari, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, I suppose we end the turn to continue. And, yeah. We're going to have to go to war with Jinbo anyway before we can hit the Ikwiki from the north. The Hattori have been defeated, and there's been a, a child born. Interesting. Um, we might be able to do some actions like, yeah, maybe sabotage the Sake Den. Failed, unfortunately. Alright, let's head you north. Move this army in. Because we kind of want to see what they're operating with. The thing is, everyone hates the Iku Iki, so it might be a good idea to attack them more than anyone. Oh, anyway, we've got this here. Maybe we start off with Kai first. Let's get a Yari Drill Yard. In South Shinano, I think we go with... Maybe we just get Katana and Bow Samurai here. I made a mistake breaking that building down. Alright. And... I suppose we'll just get some cavalry to send up there. Have we found anyone else? Oh, we found you. Unfriendly. No one else we can trade with. Can't get any military alliances or anything. The Imogawa still don't like us. Oh, we found the Ashkaga Shogunate. I will listen as politeness dictates. Okay. Where even are we on the clan fame? Okay, so we're still quite an, an obscure clan. So we still need Kyoto. We still need, obviously, 60 regions, but we're slowly but surely building on up. And we're building an army in the north as well. Let's continue on. Hey, what's happening here in the top right? Oh, shit. Damn, I think the Usegi have taken out Jinbo. That's infuriating. Uh, Takeda Nobu. Keido has come of age. In Kai. Uh, I think we go with Marshall. Because we're still going down... We're going down this to get better quality cavalry. We eventually do want to get flammable arrows. Uh, yeah, so the Yosegi actually took it, which is interesting. They've actually cut us off from the north there, unfortunately. Damn. Well, it looks like the two-pronged attack of the Ikuiki probably can't work that way around. Oh, they have their own ninja there. Maybe we try and go for the assassination. Failed, unfortunately. Right, well, it looks like that plan's gone to shit. <laughs> Unfortunately. Anyway. This Takeda is now of age. Um, we probably can give him a commission. Maybe of supply. Fuck it. Alright, anyway. Um, we'll head back to Mino now. Yeah, I guess we try and cut them off. I think we go to war with the Ikuiki. They're really expanding down south, which is surprising. 
Well, let's uh, continue to get more units here on the border where we can. Let's move them to Mino. And then we're one turn off actually getting better quality. Yari Cavalry. Nice. Let's continue on. Oh, the Iku Iki are calculating here. Maybe they're going after my agents. Yeah, so it looks like our northern expansion has been halted. We're going to be focusing on the west more. Got some mounting unrest. The Date have been destroyed. Maybe we should get a unit here. So the tax... Exemption doesn't need to be there for too long. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess we just sort of check out the Ikuiki. Try pincer them from the north. Or we might be able to actually be able to assassinate this monk if we're good. Come on. Fuck, we failed so many. <laughs> Shit. Okay, I guess we just go for him. Oh, we're wounded. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Well... Yeah, we get, guess we move you north. I'm just trying to think, should we move to the border? Oh, fuck. Alright, that's a large army. Because we're just going to continually to get everyone moving this way, I think. Just get everyone rolling. Uh, probably should get some roads here as well. I think we're good. Nice. Let's have the turn and continue. No, oh, they're calculating. Here we go. What? Did they get fought and pushed back? What happened there? Alright, I guess we go for this monk again. Nice, got rid of him. The higher we can level up these ninjas, the better. So, okay, so there's this army here. That's super interesting, okay. Let's move these additional reinforcements in. Uh, I think let's just get some bowmen or fucking something. Oh, nice. That's been built now. So we can probably start to go with a different tier of unit. And, oh, cool. A Takeda Bow Cavalry here. We're going to be able to get some Yari Cav as well. So hang on, maybe I don't go with that. Maybe get some Yari Cav. Yeah, boy. And still get everyone heading to uh, Mino if you can. Okay, they're still a little bit pissed there, unfortunately. Alright. Um, are they at war with anyone? Oh, the Ashkaga Shogunate. I could maybe join the war. No, I have to be allied with them. Do I... Do we... Actually, one of these guys is... Two of these guys have leveled up, I think. Um, what do I want to go with? I guess I go with assassinating, because that's what I want to be doing with these fellas. Uh, no one else can be leveled up either, eh? No. Um, I'm just trying to think which army we attack. Because I, I guess we descend upon this one. We can move these guys up, though, if we want. For just some more additional reinforcements. Because you never know. That little bit extra might help. I don't know if it's going to be able to come in though. Anyway, uh, let's declare war upon the Ikwiki. Mm. The main problem is, like, I trust the Yosegi and the Hojo because they've just got an alliance with them. I don't trust the Imogawa, who are currently, well... 
sort of intolerable of me. Um, so maybe I don't call my allies in. We just use them. Their alliance is basically a protection buffer. And we go against the Iku Iki alone. Okay, so we are going to have reinforcements in. And we're hitting the smaller army first. Right, well... Let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield. Slightly outnumbered, but if we're quick enough, we hit them hard, we should be able to wrap up this first initial army, then we can focus on the second. But if we're successful, we might be able to cut the Ikuiki in half. Divide their provinces up. Okay. Jeez, we haven't got many, um... Infantry, holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so let's, uh... Try and give chase, I suppose. Like, go at it fucking hard. Get everyone running. Fly, cavalry, fly! And we want to try and take them out as quickly as possible. And we'll try and... I suppose... Group these guys up together. Okay, so they're currently coming from my right hand side. Okay, that's something to keep an eye on. Alright, let's get the cavalry going up the hill. Uh, they're trying to take some high ground from me, okay. The general unit's further back. But like I said, we kind of want to just, like, rapidly going. Um, maybe we try and go for the general unit there. You pivot this way. Let's divide into some groups, essentially. Their bowmen there. Go for them, then. Before they pepper us with arrows too much. You continue to go up here. Let's divert with two against their Ronin bow units. Just got to be careful if they swing north. Come on. Maybe go, go give out an attack order for that, then. Right, we've caught their bow unit there perfectly. Although I've given you an attack order there, you are getting a little bit caught there by some units. Alright, they haven't swung south yet, thankfully. Let's move you guys up the hill. Continue to, the, continue to get the bowmen up there. Try and target their general unit. Their bow unit was crushed. Alright, their reinforcements are coming from behind. I am keeping a watchful eye on them. Still trying to get these guys up. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. A fucking general unit caught, caught my, my archers here. Fuck. Alright. Shit. And they must have come from over here, potentially. I don't know where they came from. Matter of fact. Okay, we're winning here now. Alright. Let's just try and push up, because what we want to try and do is we want to try and engage these units into combat so that we can hammer an anvil with our cavalry from behind. Make sure they completely break. Because the quicker we need to get... We need to wrap this fight up. Um, let's just move you guys here as a bit of a deterrence. Like, although we're attacking here... What we want to do is basically go like that and around. Like, you really don't want to be using... Yari Ashigaru against these Ronin swordsmen, but... The main thing is this. The cavalry charge around the back. Nice. Perfect. And we've got to be quick around here, so move back. Cool. We're mostly in a full retreat now. Okay, now we do the same one this way. So, try and go something like this quickly. Bowman, and then we get the cavalry go again. A little bit micro heavy this one, but we'll be fine if we just keep running. Keep on keeping on. Come on, come on. Uh, what's at the back here? A lot of bowmen on that right side, okay.
Alright, so... Maybe go into Yari Wall with a lot of you guys now, if you can. Guard mode as well. Okay, cool, they're in position. Try and get our Bowman to get some shots off. Let's drop an Inspire. And a Rally as well. I don't think we've got Last Stand just yet, so we can't use that. Alright, you swing around the top of this. Their Archer's about to get some shots off. Looks like they're about to charge my front line, but we're in Yari Wall, so we should be able to hold and maintain. They should splash upon the Yari Wall like water on rock. Let's swing around here, because we're going to give out these attack orders. Nice, let's go. Going to have the Takeda Clan charge bonus. And we're looking good. Most of their army now is in a retreat. Nice, we won. Let's continue on. Let's uh, try and gobble as many of them up as we can. We were hyper-aggressive enough on that first army. And now we've been incredibly rewarded from it. Fuck yes. Dude, I love the look of the Takeda. Like, they've got a really cool color, the red. Cavalry is so, so satisfying. In this game, there's a lot of things to like about them. I can see why they're people's uh, favorite clan. Alright, still just trying to run down as many of them here as we can. Okay. So then we should be able to take their southern territory at least. But we do have to be a little bit cautious in the fact that we are fighting them alone now. Dude, Light Cav is so good in this game. It's actually kind of insane. We've even got stronger Light Cav than uh, most factions. They're really good at sniping generals, surprisingly. Alright, let's end that battle there. Nice. It's a shame the Yosigi can't smash them from the north and go with the two-pronged attack. Look, you know what? We might actually be able to negotiate them to negotiate with them by themselves rather than bringing all my allies in. Yeah, it's just because the Imogawa don't like me, unfortunately. Oh, dude. 274. They lost... 2,300. Crikey. Oh my god. Two of the Takeda Light Cavalry got 400 plus kills. Holy shit, brother. Well, I suppose we run this down. Nice. Because we want to try and go for this. And we are going to be able to as well. Let's occupy that. We're now noted. We do want to try and... Maybe just move the cavalry in. <laughs> They're still pissed off. We'll eventually try and move them in. Um, let's move this south. You're heading north. Yeah, so I think we've perfectly cut them in half. Yeah. They have taken another piece of territory down here. Yeah, I'd be curious to see how they react, to be honest. But a nice, good initial strike against the uh, Ikuiki. Well, I suppose we um, try and negotiate with the Hojo and my friend. I'm ready to listen to you, Siggy. Um, okay, so they're not interested. What about the Usegi? The Hojo weren't, but maybe these guys will be. Um, hang on. Maybe we offer them. Okay, then this might work. Hang on. So I offer you 20 turns of military access and you join the war. What do you say? No. Unfortunately. That's a shame. Anyway. Um, trying to think what else we can do here. Oh, we kind of want to repair this, actually. That's what we spend the money on, I believe. 
Maybe. Uh, we can't afford a sake den. Maybe we should though. Yeah, let's put that as a priority. Alright, let's say uh, in the turn and continue and see how they react. They should have more than what we destroyed. Yep, here we go. Hang on. Pretty decent army actually moved in there. Crikey. I think we go with religious zeal. Oh shit, the Shimazu have been destroyed. Really? Fucking hell. That's uh, a really big deal, actually. That's gonna massively disrupt the um, the power balance. Oh shit, that's pissed them off. Fuck, hang on. I stuffed up there. I need to leave that unit there. I need to remember. Maybe we disengage the cavalry there. Alright, let's uh, have a look further south. Oh, okay, nice. So there actually isn't too much there. Alright, another smaller army here. Alright, this is pretty much it. Alright, we can move that up as reinforcements. Can't move that anywhere. Right, I suppose we, uh, send this. Oh, I got some reinforcements here, so what do they got? This is their daimyo, general. A lot of bow ronin. A lot of ikuiki yari ashigaru. And just some normal bow ashigaru. They currently outnumber us by about 800. But we do have cavalry supremacy on them. Alright, let's fight this one on the battlefield. And then we should be able to secure those two southern provinces. And then that's two full stacks destroyed. We even got some little additional reinforcements as well. Coming on in. Alright, this one's going to be a little bit tricky. Because they do outnumber us quite a bit. We'll see how we go. Um, why won't they move there? Okay, that's fine. Right, where are reinforcements coming from? Uh, shit. They're deploying right on top of them. Uh, not good. Well, I guess we try and take some high ground. Uh, I guess this will do. So let's... Move here, I suppose. Yeah, we're gonna have to try and slink our way down here if we can. Like, the quicker the better. Uh, Bowman. Try and move there. You move here. Uh, cavalry. Hmm. Guess we move some here, and then I guess we move the rest here. Get the cavalry not to sprint, though. They're gonna cut us off here if we're not careful. So, we'll try and get around. We also just want to try and conserve our energy in this one. Oh, there's a unit coming up here. Hang on, it's the general unit. Okay, he doesn't seem to be moving. Hmm. I was just sort of looking to see if there's an opportunity here. They're really coming quick. We're not going to escape, I don't reckon. So we might have to just to turn and fight. Hold something like that. Go to Yari Wall. And then try and sit this in skirmish mode with you. That unit is coming very close to me though. I think there's an opportunity here. Okay, we're going to start skirmishing with them soon. Maybe we go into this. Yeah, we'll hit their fucking general then. If they're going to come towards me like that. We are, we're Yari Wall holding this. Send everyone on that general unit. They're intertwining really well, though. That's my concern. Alright, you know what? Sprint this last little yard if you can. 
Okay, unfortunately this bow unit has capitulated. We might be able to get their general unit here. Hang on. We might be able to find an opportunity here. Oh god, they're so quick in this game. They're fucking units. Alright, swing up here. Oh, that's another general unit going for me. Go for that then. Come on. Oh god, they're still doing like the intertwining again. Mm. They're just covering them so so well. Like we can't see an opportunity to strike. Controlling three lots of cavalry is super fucking difficult. Our men are running from the battlefield. Alright, that's a bit better. Uh, you're pulling them out. Okay, this is holding for now. Fucking hell, hang on. Now we'll go for them. We should be using rallies and the such. Right, move you here. How are we going over here? Fuck, they're giving me chase. My lord, their general has fallen. A These Yara units are still holding here, surprisingly. Any units that's trying to approach this high ground as well. Let's go with a rally. Yeah, just try and get them out, man. Okay, let's uh, move you back around here. Unfortunately, they've been crushed. You might be able to hit this bow unit here if you're quick enough. We also got to conserve our stamina as well. They bugged, are they? Yeah, they're fucking not moving there. Dude, they're just covering them so well. You nearly just don't want to give out an attack order and just try and get as close as you can then charge. Right, now we go down and on top of this. Maybe do charge this then. If you're quick enough, you are a little bit too close to the side of the map though. If you're going to go down with the ship, you might as well do it. Get the general over here to help. We need to rally up with this cavalry. Hit them front on, hit them side on. Our general is in Come on. Danger, my lord. Nice. Fucking oath, bro. Alright, perfect. Uh, is there any other bow units we can target? Well, just sit here in the forest then and just recover some of your strength. The cavalry is causing a fucking madness while we're just trying to hold this high ground here. Yeah, they still bugged that unit there, which is strange. Alright, well, I'll just allow us to get us some breath back. Our archers should be on skirmish mode if they somehow wrap. Okay, that's now coming up here. If they charge in, we might try and pincer, ideally. Okay, because they're starting to come now. The Yari wall is still holding exceptionally well. Dude, they are kind of showing us their back here. Yep, 
They're actually going to go for this Yari Ashigaru unit. You're joking. We'll wrap around the back of them then. Rather than get, letting it move the Yari Ashigaru unit out of its Yari wall, it's still getting their bonus there. Dude, our fucking bowmen are going to town. Holy shit. Alright, move them up and away. Get out of danger. Maybe try and run down some of them. Although they're exhausted. It might be worth doing so. We just need to bring these guys back on over. Right, Bowman, try and target some of these units now. Um, let's rejig this formation to something like this now, I suppose. Alright, swing back around this way. They're moving some Bowman up. Let's try and hit theirs. Dude, if we had some flammable ammunition. My god. Okay. So we're just trading some skirmisher fire here. We've got plenty of ammunition still left. Dude, my cavalry is so exhausted, bro. Alright, just got this last little amount of units left. Oh, they're going to capitulate anyway. As the generals have well and truly been defeated. Nice. We've lost a lot of casualties, which is kind of annoying. But they did outnumber us quite a bit. Dude, the Iku Iki are so strong. Holy shit. The only problem is I wanted to try and keep casualties to a minim minimum because it would allow us to take some of their southern provinces with ease. Just the more losses we take now, it might just delay some of the conquest. But we're doing well so far for episode one. Taking a lot of territory. We haven't taken out a major clan just yet. We're just taking out minor clans, but we're doing alright. Well, actually, I guess the Oda, eh? <laughs> Fuck, I already forgot about the Oda. Oh, there's a unit here still bugged. Yeah, it's still sitting there. <laughs> yeah, it fucking occasionally happens in Shogun 2 sometimes. You know, it's just get bugged like that. You gotta be careful. Actually, you might, you might just end that because um, I think technically it's still in their ability. So if we charge that cavalry in, they technically are still in, still in Yari Wall. Or potentially that. They're in a formation, which would kind of suck if we sent everyone in. They'd probably just get fucking melted. Nice. So we lost one to uh, Takeda Light Cav and another one in this army. I was going to say, if we lost a general unit, that would be more annoying. The Yari Ashigaru and the bow. I uh, got 100 kills each and the, ca the cavalry really carried. A Pyrrhic victory, eh? Nice. I guess we give Chase just that little bit... Oh, God, there's still a lot remaining, though. Bloody hell. Yeah, I guess we go with another fight. It's just because we didn't run down as many of them as we... ideally should have. We go again. Battle of Omi, 1549. Alright. Uh, I guess we wait. Fuck yeah, we don't want the fog. Holy shit. Alright, let's see what we're working with. A little bit of high ground here. A little bit of tree coverage as well, as a matter of fact. Now, at least we're... 
<laughs> refreshed and uh, raring to go, I suppose. Uh, I think we go with something like that. Nothing too crazy. Uh, let's try and take this bit of high ground. Uh, yeah, I guess we go with something like that. Get our skirmishes up. Uh, cow well, we might actually be able to get some cavalry in here. You know what? Uh, let's just try and move you suckers here. Uh, let's move these units up centrally. Alright. We'll chuck this into the front line. I suppose we move you here and we'll chuck you here. Alright. Wait for everyone to rally up. I suppose we try and get our cavalry to target their archers. We'll see how we go though. Oh, hang on. So we kind of want something like that. Guard mode, firstly. You guys that are already in this position, go with Yari wall. They're eventually going to get there. Um, I think skirmish as we advance and we look to go up because what we want to try and do is we try to want to drag some of the skirmish fire away as we look to charge all right because they're starting to move here so hit that if they're going to move and you go for that or well, you got charged down into that then before they start shooting properly and we'll drop an inspire on itself and a rally whoa, whoa you need to be going like fucking hightail it bro you can't be sleeping on those units. You need to go. Okay. They're moving well, though. Alright. Try and hit anything that's coming up here. Move back. Oh, God. You need to be fucking moving. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? Move here. Alright, we need to hit these fucking archer units. Alright, we're going to be able to maybe pull this back. But that's not good. Hang on. Oh, fuck me, bro. Alright, we're hitting them there. Hit that unit here. God damn, archers need to be pulling further back. You're winning here. Nice. Go for that unit that's fucking being pulled. That's cooked, that unit, unfortunately. We've lost a fucking general. God damn it. Jeez, the Ikawiki has some good units, though. What the fuck? Damn it. We lost a general. Right, you need to go for that, then. Oh, my God. This Yari Ashigari unit is really moving on us. Nice. Just move up that fucking hill. Get away. <laughs> right, move away from this, fellas. These bowmen should be able to get a town on them. It's actually the two general units up there. Alright, just need to focus on these last two bowmen and then my archers should be able to... ...to work with the rest. Looking at the strength of this army, it's, it's in their bowmen. So if we can neutralize them, we're laughing. Right, yep, hit them. Go for this again. Dude, look how quick they're just like on top of me. I can barely get a charge in, bro. It's kind of insane. Oh, 
We did lose a general in the process, which, which kind of sucks. But what are you going to do? Let's move them back. Bro, they're still coming for me there. Ah! Hang on. They're still pushing that front line. Swing this way then. Although we're going to claim two back-to-back -back victories. I reckon. Um, we've lost too many. Which is rather unfortunate, I think. Because we're going to struggle to take their settlements now. And the problem is they fucking spawn shit. That's the main issue. In Shogun 2, in the fog of war. Which kind of sucks. Alright, let's continue just to try and run down as many of them as possible. Because that's what got us in this issue last time. But we got them. Nice. Yeah, I don't know who we lost exactly. The Daimyo's brother, I believe? I don't know exactly. Oh my god, Matt. Oh my god, where are they going? To fucking Mount Fuji up here. Holy shit. Couldn't have picked a further point to flee to. <laughs> oh my god. Bonkers. Dude, check out the fucking cavalry just trying to send this goddamn hill. Oh my god. This Yari Ashigaru unit has actually caught them. Which is kind of crack up. Oh, they're not going to make it either, I don't think. I oh know, some of them did. Bro, the horse can ba can't even get up here. This is like fucking like Skyrim. Oh no, there we go. Holy shit. Let's uh, end that battle there. Okay. Mm, did lose some cavalry. Ah, shit. So who did we lose? Uh, Takeda Nobushigi. Brother. Well, that's a shame. He died for the fucking cause, though. Oh well. Right. Um, ninjas. We could maybe try and sabotage the castle here. We're in range. Like, we might as well spend it. Okay, you're here now. Yeah, we really need to replenish. Holy shit. More reinforcements are coming, though. Right, well, look, you know what? We've played for a couple of hours here today. I think it's time to wrap up this first part. Thank you very much for watching episode one of my Total War Shogun 2 Takeda. Let's play. Stay tuned for episode two coming out tomorrow. But we've done really quite well. We've taken North and South Shinano. We've taken Haida. We've taken Mino. We've taken out Oda Clan and a couple of others as well. And we've kicked off with this massive war against the Ikwiki. We've carved their territory in half. I suppose we try and take these two before we push north as well. We still have a firm alliance with the Usigi, the Imogawa, and the Hojo as well. And we've encountered a lot of other clans. 
maybe some we can get trade rights with, but we'll have to do that in the next episode. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Once again, check out my social media links in the description below. If you want to stay connected with me, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, just want to give a massive thank you to my YouTube channel members for this month. So a massive thank you to Itchy, Green Nero One, Divine Overhand, Hectorp A, and Dimitri H. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so if you guys become channel members, you get access to the mod list in the Discord. You also get your name read out at the start and end of every stream and uh, YouTube video. So thanks a bunch once again, guys. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel and streams.